All right, guys, this is Dylan from Boing Vert. I run Boing Life. Been doing this for 10 years. I'm always scouring the internet for vertical jump research that we can tie into our programs. And we've been following this for a while, but I want to share it with you, a potential hack to jump higher today. And it's something that we are potentially adding to Boingvert programs to increase the efficacy of the programs. And this is going to blow your mind. Sit down. I hope you're sitting down. Crazy. Okay. It's entitled Lunge Exercises with Blood Flow Restriction Induces Post-Activation Potentiation and Improves Vertical Jump Performance. It's a lot of words, but it, it's not that complicated, actually. So what was the purpose of this study? This study examined the post-activation potentiation effects of body weight lunges with blood flow restriction on jump performance. So basically, they took 18 guys, they had them do lunges, and then they restricted the blood flow. What's that mean? It simply means they took a rubber band and tied it around their legs so the blood didn't flow as well into the muscles. That's it. There's a lot of verbiage here, a lot of words, but it's a really simple idea. And then after they did that, they tested vertical jump to see after they did these lunges, post-activation potentiation, after they did this exercise, did their vert increase? Interesting, right? Well, let's look at the results. Lunges with, this, is, this blew my mind. Lunges with blood flow restriction significantly improved jump height by about 5%, flight time by about 3.5%, and power by 4% within 6 to 15 minutes post-exercise with the magnitude of effect between blood flow conditions moderate to large. Meaning, the effects were moderate to large by wearing the band and then doing body weight, just simple body weight lunges. Okay, so here's the hack. Go out and try it. I'm interested to see what you guys find get a band tied around your leg maybe left and right leg do some lunges do some body weight squats three sets of eight something in that range and then wait five six seven minutes and see if you're jumping higher really simple you can do this at home if you don't have a rubber band you could probably just use a belt or something or you know, something to or a tie or a scarf try that if you don't have a band to use you can also order the bands online we're actually getting some made that will sell from boing vert hopefully at a better price than you'll find online we're really looking at at this and we've been testing with athletes and we, we've had some really interesting discoveries uh in using bands see because what we try to do on the boing vert site we have weight room programs and body weight programs and the thing we're always asking ourselves how can we make the body weight program more intense if we need to how could we do that well something like this with a band it's a really cheap, effective way to increase how hard a workout is. So our next program that's coming out called Boingvert Beast. Okay, we're between two names. You guys let me know in the comment section what you think. Boingvert Beast, which fits with Savage, Monster, and Animal, kind of is on that lineage. But then I was thinking about calling it Boingvert Anti-Gravity. Because what we're doing in this next program that comes out December this year, January next year, is really crazy. I think it's going to blow your mind. Let's just read on and finish this. No significant changes were found in jump performance measures following lunge exercises without blood flow restrictions. Really fascinating. They go on to conclude, lunge exercises with blood flow restriction improve subsequent jump performance in anaerobically trained men. The use of blood flow restriction may be a practical alternative to heavy resistance training equipment during warm-up protocols. So I want you guys to go out there and try this and let me know if it increased your vert. Again, you just got to cut blood flow a little bit. Don't overdo it. You don't want your leg to turn purple and fall off. Okay. Don't go crazy. Just do, you know, three sets of eight body weight. Maybe if you want some dumbbells, you can do that. 20 pound dumbbells, something like that. And then see if it helps you gain a few inches. If you're one of those people who's getting an alley-oop and you're almost putting it down, but not quite try this and see if it helps. Make sure you go to boingvert.com, check out our new programs and smash the like and subscribe button. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.